Hi, I'm Eric Cummings, Safety Industry Manager with Ross Controls, and I'm here to present the advantages of the Ross LOX valve, the lockout exhaust valve that we've had out since the early 60s. It's required by OSHA for use on all equipment for lockout tagout of pneumatic energy. There's four main requirements that are showing up in the ANSI standards for lockout valves now. Primarily, it should only be locked in the off position. It should not be able to be locked in the on position the way a number of ball valves can be. Uh, they have a little slide mechanism. They can be locked off or on. Or if you have the cover that you place over and lock, you really have no idea what position they're in. Uh, there should be a way to verify that you've exhausted the downstream pressure. Typically, that means that you would put a T into the line and have a pressure gauge or some type of, of indicator. Uh, the Ross LOX valves have a pressure indicator port built right in them. You can use this little pop-up device, a gauge or a, a, a pressure switch or transducer, whatever your requirements are. Uh, the third requirement is that it should be easy to operate. A simple push-pull type of device doesn't get any easier than that. And finally, the fourth requirement is it should have a full exhaust port. And the reason behind that is that you're trying to eliminate the energy in the system. Uh, when you put that lockout valve or that lock onto the lockout valve, you want to know that you've exhausted the energy. You want to get rid of it quickly. And many devices such as, such as ball valves, they have a, a tiny little bleed hole on the back side that's exhausting the air. So essentially you could apply a lock and you're still bleeding the volume down uh, when people have a false sense of security with that. So for a demonstration, we have a, a one liter volume of air tied to, to each of these valves independently. And when I flip this switch, we're going to dump that one liter through the full exhaust on the LOX valve and through the bleed hole that's on the, the ball valve. And obviously you say, of course, the, the LOX is going to be faster. So it took 70 milliseconds for the LOX valve to exhaust that one liter of air. Well, it took this ball valve uh, seven and a half seconds to exhaust. And again, this is a very small volume of air. So if you extrapolate to a whole machine, uh, you can see where it could take, take many minutes, in fact, to exhaust a machine with a bleed hole. And that's why the full exhaust port is so important on your lockout devices for your pneumatic systems.